Well, I think it's going to be a little more up on this side, don't you? Hey, that side looks great, guys. It will be when we finally get it up. I think it's going to be a little more. Oh, let me get you some. Oh, yeah, you can take it. Oh, where is everyone? Come on down here. Okay, okay. Perfect timing, you guys. Ooh. Out of refrigerator. Good. Can you drink it? Did you bring a champagne? Yeah, we found the juice stuff. It's not alcoholic. And I have heard that it tastes like the real thing. No, which we have plenty of, too. The real thing. Good. Everything. It looks absolutely wonderful. And I think the sign was fabulous. <laughs> I just want Kevin to know how we feel the moment he walks through that door. He'll know how we feel. <laughs> Need help in oh, here? Oh, listen, I thought that we'd sit the bark in here and we okay. could put food on the dining room table but baseball. All right, I'm well. Oh, no. Okay, hi. Oh, good. I'm not quite through. Mm. We're going to need some music, aren't we? Don't worry about the music. I brought the tapes down from my room. the food. Can you guys believe this? We are finally going to have a party yep. without a cloud over oh. mm -hmm. <laughs> And congratulations, Jake. I heard you were terrific. Thank you. Now, I'm with Tanya. I'm just glad it's over. Every day in this place is going to be like a party compared right. to what we've been going through the last few months. <laughs> what is this? Hello. What's this? Well, why do you open up and see? For you and Jake. Patrick, I don't understand. This is two tickets to Paris. Mm-hmm, that's right. And reservations for the week at George Sock. I can see that, but why? Well, Bobby, I know how much Jake charged my parents to defend Kevin. Patrick, I don't know what to say. Too much. No, 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 no. you're forgetting that I, <laughs> I've inherited my, all my uncle's money. So, this is nothing really. Just, this is just my way of saying thanks to Jake. I don't know what to say. Well, how about uh, bon voyage, as soon as you can get out of here? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Listen, do me a favor, okay? Yeah. Don't say anything to Jake, because I want this to be a surprise. Okay? You got it. <laughs> okay, I think we're all set. Yeah, as soon as our guest of honor shows up. Jake, why are they taking so long? Oh, there's just some formal signing release papers and stuff like... Hello. I, I never saw Terry look so happy as she did when the verdict was... You know, Jake looked like someone had shot him with a cat. It was a great day. And I'll tell you, when we get back to Lorcan, we are going to have a parade in celebration. That's a great idea, Ted. By the way, Dad, I think I'm going to be going back to Laurelton with you when you go. Well, how would you do that? I mean, you have your work here at the hospital. Well, yeah, it's only going to be for a few days. Um, after all, I am the major shareholder in Purity Water Company. I, I just want to have a... Hey, 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 hey. Fish doesn't appeal to me anymore, and I'm sick and tired of eating chicken all the time. So I was thinking we'd have a stuffed cabbage. Mmm, I hope you like it. I think it sounds wonderful. Good. You know, I just hope we have enough food here for four, though. Oh, and one time. Yeah. Oh, speaking of which, I better go pick her up right now. Well, hey, can't first do that? Um, I don't want to ask him to do that. No. You know, I hope in his working to free Kevin, it doesn't end his friendship with Anna. Well, Frisco and Anna just need some time right now. Meanwhile, Frisco enjoys Robin, and he loves being her godfather, and she just adores him. Yeah? When am I going to go pick up Robin? Hi, babe. I'm going to go pick her up. Hi. Do you need any help? No, I have right. control. For now. Okay, thanks. So, uh, something that I thought we might could use, you know? Here. Oh, yeah. Good idea. I'll show you this. Just don't make a big deal about it, okay? Right. Good idea. No, it's not just good, it's imperative. Now, Frisco, the killer got into the brownstone once before, the same one that got Jennifer. I'm just not going to take any chances. Tanya's worried enough about the baby as it is, you know? Such a treat for Robin. Thank you very, very much for having her over for dinner. Do I get to sleep in your bed, Felicia? Yes, and we're going to have a great time. Mommy said I shouldn't get too dressed up. Well, Mommy's right. It'll be a very informal dinner. Mommy's dinner was formal. Oh, yes, I can tell. Doesn't she look beautiful? Oh, Annie, you really do look lovely. Oh, you think so? Oh, yes. Um, I'm really looking forward to going out, you know. It's, it's just such a long time since I have been out. <gasps> That'll be both now. I'll get it. 
can get one? Yeah, yeah. Give me back my shoes. Okay, shoes. But I want to wear those ones. I don't want to wear these. Okay. Yeah, that's all better. Okay. Yeah. Well, you leave it to me. Well, okay, go on. Go and ask it because you'll think that we've all left home. Do I come with you? Yeah, <laughs> okay. Can. All right. Can all right. You know something? You don't even look like a cop. Robin is entertaining Buzz. Oh, really? You know, in a few more years' time, the roles will be reversed. I'll be entertaining one of her young men. Speaking of which, how's your young man? Buzz. Frisco is... Frisco. Meaning? Well, he's... He's worried that Kevin's trial has really affected his relationship with you. Felicia, I... I understand why he helped Kevin and Jake. I mean, we've already talked about that. But Anna, he doesn't like letting you down. You're very special to him. He's very special to me. I understand that he thought he was doing the right thing. And the jury, as it turned out, agreed with his assessment of, of Kevin's innocence. Now, we both were doing what we thought was right. Well, I'm glad you feel that way. A friend once told me that you should never do jobs that made you sacrifice your values. Well, I think that that should also include friendship. You know, w without my friends, I, I don't think I'd be able to carry on. Well, I think the real victim in this case is Lucy Cole. Yeah, Lucy. Wow, she's a strange one. Very complex character, that one. You mean, if she's not what she seems to be? Hmm. I think Frisco feels that way about that. I'm not going to let any of this spoil my my very rare no. date. No. So let's go and see how Bud and there's my lipstick rubbing it in. Come on. I'm glad you find it amusing that I have to carry this beeper around with me. Why does it beep while you're dancing with mommy? Well, then I'll go to the telephone and find out what the people at the hospital want. What if I called you? Well, then I'd find you wherever you are and tickle you and tickle you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow, look at you. Do you approve? <laughs> you look beautiful. Thank you. I told you Mommy looked beautiful. Oh, you didn't. Yes, she did, and she was right. Oh, my goodness. Well, she's my PR person. I pay her by the hour. <laughs> well, you do have a good time tonight. Okay. We will. Thank and you. And call me when you want me to, to bring Robin home. All right, right? I will. Okay. Thanks, you eat Mommy. Bye -bye, I love you. Thank I'll you. see you later, okay? okay. You told gentlemen. Don't keep Christian Fisher up. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye, darling. Bye, Bye, darling. Have a great time. Thank you. <laughs> you look terrific. Thank you. Yeah. Now, I'm sorry, but I got a last-minute call from Jenny Blake. She wants to do a short interview about the hospital staff reaction to Kevin's coming back to work at the hospital. Before dinner? Want to meet me at the restaurant? <laughs> no, I'll come with you to the station. Okay. Okay. It's, uh, we'll be in and out of ten minutes, I think. There we go. I don't know, do it right out. Okay. What are you guys doing? Oh, I'm testing my prowess with a new lock. This is a dead bolt. And it works, too. Yeah. Well, what are you testing it on our door for? Because I would rather damage your door than mine. No, I've never put one of these on before, and, uh... Well, actually, it's part of the academy. It's, it's the home security part of the manual, and we have to be able to put these things on and be able to take them off. Hmm. Well, you know, all the movies that I've seen, the cops just kick the door right down. I already got an A in kicking doors down. And I think you should use this deadbolt when you're alone, because it'll make us feel more secure. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Thank you for covering the academy assignment fun. I appreciate it. Which reminds me, I forgot to congratulate you on your exam. If you're not careful, you're going to pass the flying colors, you know? Well, I doubt if it'll be flying colors, but um, I will definitely have a diploma on graduation day. You have second thoughts about being a cop? Was it surprise you? Well, yeah, because you got past Lewis so far. I didn't even think he was a problem with you anymore. No, or is just... that not the problem? Oh, we can probably say the last few days I have just seen the realities of my chosen profession. Well, there's no profession without reality, you know. Tell me something, Doc. Okay? Okay. Would you do something if you really hated it? I mean, if it really turned your moral values on things upside down? 
Well, it's probably going to happen to me eventually. I'm probably going to have to cripple a patient to save his life. One of those catch-22 type realities. Kind of like something I had to do with Kevin, right? Yeah, that's a good example. It's just unfortunately we don't live in a perfect world, Frisco. Unless you can find a Walden Pond somewhere. Walden Pond? Mm -hmm. Well, I can't really see Felicia sitting by a pond eating berries and nuts and occasionally <clears throat> running into town for a pizza. Besides that, I miss my brother. Uh -huh. hmm? Didn't need nothing. Any room in that hotel? Oh! Please stay in a few days. My pajamas. In case I get tired and want to take a nap. Oh. Hey, sweetie, I hope you like home cooking. Old world home cooking, that is. Come on in the kitchen. Let me show you what we're doing. Grandma's from Yorkville. Since when? I love her. Oh, that's just a little precaution. Remember, there's still a murder out there. Everybody in favor, say aye. Oh, aye. 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 <laughs> Gosh, isn't this nice to actually be able to sit around and relax and be peaceful for mm -hmm. once. Yeah, life has been kind of head took around here. Kind of nice to unwind. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Well, if you are all unwound enough, uh, I'd like to make an announcement. Tony, we know you're having a baby. <laughs> Our Tanya's going to have the baby. Uh -huh. And we do not need any more proud father speeches, okay? Yes, you do. In case you wonder what we're talking about, Tanya and I are going to have a baby later this year. A girl or a boy? Well, we don't know, but whatever it is, we're going to love it, right? Mm -hmm. Well, it has to be a girl, <laughs> because we need another beautiful Tanya in the world. Oh. <laughs> well, you're very sweet, Frisco. But what would be wrong with having a handsome little baby that looks like Tony? Yeah. Don't make me answer that, all right? <laughs> well, I think Tony's beautiful, too. I like this girl. Mm -hmm. I like her a lot. I'm going to tell you a bedtime story for saying that. If I say you're beautiful, will you tell me a bedtime story? No. Clown. I'll listen. I'm going to ignore that and make this announcement anyway, okay? Since this baby is going to be the most important part of our lives, and we want the best for this child, that means we want the best godparents. And uh, we'd like to know if you, Felicia, and you, Frisco, would do the honors. Would you like to accept on behalf of both of us? Gee, gee, I think we've just been given an offer we can't refuse, huh? You know, because having a godchild is like having a child of your own. Disco, mm -hmm. you're one of my godfathers. Does that mean the baby will be my sister or brother? I tell you what, you can be the honorary god sister. How about that? And Disco and Felicia, thanks. If anything ever happens to Tony and me, then you'll be the guardian for the baby. It's a very big responsibility, you know. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Bobby, come on in. Hi, everybody. Hi. 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 I have a quick favor to ask. Can I sure. borrow some luggage? Oh, yeah, I got plenty of luggage. Where are you running off to? Actually, none of you are going to believe this, but Paris. It's a present. He's giving a trip to Jake and me. Jake doesn't know anything about it yet. Well, come on. Your luggage. 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 Your luggage.